So, finally got everything that I needed to get the projector running, take up reel, some movies that I found online for a great deal. Apparently nobody wants Super 8 and 8mm movies anymore. And then of course the projector itself, which got for 20 bucks and has been working fantastically. Over the past few weeks, I've been putting everything together so that we could do it. First problem I ran into, ha ha ha, I only had one Super 8 to 8mm adapter. So, luckily, 3D printer came in yesterday, found one, we'll be printing that shortly. So I went to go do one more test and the freaking bulb blew. So, that sucks. Found a couple of different ways to actually make one that was gonna work right inside that baby right there. Yeah, right in that hole. Mmm, you love it. Okay, rude. Anyway, so, gonna be heading out to the hardware store again today and go look for some bulbs that may uh, replace the lamp. So, while I go to work on the lamp, we'll be printing four Super 8 to 8 millimeter adapters. So that will be very cool. And then we will hopefully be able to view 8 millimeter video by the end of the day. Okay, so now I'm gonna wrap this guy up in clear packing tape for what the internet said. All oh, nice and good on there. Don't worry, fun part's coming up soon. So we'll put another little piece on the top in a minute. All right, that's pretty secure in there. Now, the next fun part. Take this guy and put it inside this bag. All right, and get it in there. And then we'll zip this guy up. Yay, yeah, secure. Get some of the air out of it first. And look at the other parts of the counter. Really probably shouldn't be doing it on the counter, but what are you going to do? All right, now it's in there, and very gently, whoa, should have been holding it, my bad. All right, now Gabriel's helping as he's screaming, why are you breaking it? There we go, oh, well, that worked too well. I don't want to get glass all over me. So now we just have to separate out this, just squish it a little bit. So we can get the reflector out. Ooh, keep it in the bag so we don't get glass shards everywhere. Come on, baby. Come on. Almost there. There we go. Ta-da! Now ta-da! Great, right? So now we have the reflector and those pieces. And the glass is gone. So, Gabriel's going to hold the phone eventually. I'm going to go in here, and again, inside the Ziploc bag so we can avoid glass everywhere. Just break that off. One zump. Yeah, hopefully into the side of the bag. For the sake of this video, we'll say that it jumped into the side of this bag. It probably didn't, because I should have had more of them. All right, a little more shardies. One little more shardy. You still have more goggles. Like uh, jumping. Yeah. I got polycarbonate lenses. I'll be okay. Alright. There we go. Now we've got the reflector in a bowl without glass shards. Okay, so now the next part is we're gonna be clipping these guys right here. Okay. Diagonal cutters ready. So these wires are actually the hot wires and these stands are just doing nothing really except holding this thing up. So we're gonna cut this part off and then we're gonna take this guy out and see if we can fit this guy in there. And if we can't, that's fine because then we'll just use that guy without the stand. But if we could keep the reflector in, that would be amazing. So as you can see, we got it out by snipping out this bottom piece here with the diagonal cutters and then pushing the other pieces through. Now this is where it's good to have tape or probably something else already down because now there's little pieces of ceramic and throughout the process you'll find little shards of glass that keep falling out. So this is really not safe or good to do the way I'm doing it. So don't do it that way. Get other stuff and do it better. 
Okay, so as you can see from the tape, we've got most of the little bits we don't need anymore. Secure those up. We'll use some more tape because there's still some little itty bitty pieces out there. Look at that guy. Itty bitty pieces. So we'll keep working on that. Okay, so the first phase of getting the bulb all ready and putting all that stuff together was just long enough for us to have finished the other Super 8 to 8 millimeter adapters. So these bad boys are ready. So we'll grab these off of here. And then I use my little forceps here. Can I show you? This has been very helpful. Doop. Doop. See how easy it is? And then they come off. Of course, this one I put too much pressure on. You behave. So I'll sand that down later. But anyway, it's really good at getting these off because this build tack stuff is pretty amazing, but when your print's on, it is on. So I don't really have anything that's going to hold this well to try to Dremel through it. So what we're doing is just slowly using the diagonal cutters to cut through to widen the opening to allow this to fit through. It's gonna take a little bit more time, but I also don't have the type of file I would need to get in there, so it should hopefully work. So as you can see, got it through. Did was continue to cut up through the side, up to there with the diagonal cutters, and then cut a little bit on the side here to bend this out. So what I'm gonna do now is actually bend it back a little bit and then what we may use is a double bond epoxy to leave it in there. And then we'll wire it all up after that. So I realize if I epoxy this, I will never get it back out. Which also means that should I ever need to replace this light bulb, which is only good for theoretically 2,000 hours, but probably less than that that it would be best just to do this. So I have it in where it's stationary, and then once it's all soldered together, I'll probably use some heat shrink tubing over it just to keep everything in place there. That way I can cut this back out and replace it when I need to. It's not ideal, but it'll work, I hope. All right, so here is a wire that I save out that I use that's a pretty good stiff, very stiff posable wire, very good for AC. Can't remember what gauge, but it's solid, not braided. Then over here, got this, and we're using electrical tape just to keep it from sliding in, and hoping that it does not heat up enough to burn the electrical tape, which is a possibility, and we'll find out later. So, no spoilers. And then that's gonna solder down to these posts, and then we'll throw some heat shrink tubing on it. So the first solder part went really well, because down there, there's like a little fork with something that the solder will adhere to and of course up there it's ready. Down here there was not one of those forks. I had to bend one of the other parts to it. Ooh, I'm shaking. I had to bend one of the other parts to it, swirl the wire around, solder it as best I could, and then solder up here, and then of course classic hot glue for insulation. Mmm. So with that, everything should be good. So we're going to plug it in shortly and test it. But see how like there's blue strips and stuff here? We're going to clean this off first. Also make sure that there's no uh, fingerprints and other stuff on there because that can make the extra hot bulb even hotter. I don't know if that's true with halogen, but I know other bulbs. You have to be really careful with that. So we're going to be careful with it. All right, so I pushed it in there. And again... Probably good to have pliers at that point because there's still little pieces of shards of glass and the fact that I have not actually cut myself It's pretty amazing today. A lot of vacuuming. A lot of vacuuming So in just a moment We'll first give it a shot and see if the lamp works and then we'll put everything back together and see if we can play a movie All right, here we go. So if it explodes That sucks. So Oh, am goodness. Look at that. It did not explode and it's working. So, I may have to move it back a little bit from the other side, but we've also still got the reflector in. 
So let's put everything together and see what it looks like with film. All right, here goes nothing. This is gonna be hard because I can't hold this and feed the film in. So one of the kids gets to be cameraman in a moment. Just make sure it stays focused. Don't touch the lights yet. I'm gonna get this going. So it's on Super 8. I get the motor going. Switch it to forward. Whoa! The one's so about the take up blue. reel sure is moving weird. Okay. Lamp on. And you might have to do this closer because it's not getting a lights real quick, Lorian. Uh that might be too far. Maybe not. Alright. Lights on. Okay. Aww. No, 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 okay. No, this is fine. Okay, it's going. Lights off. Never mind. Turn her off. Whoa, bad, 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 bad. Something smells like a burnt. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, I know. Whoa! No! Turn it off. Alright, so here's uh, what I like to call the feet. That's the film. Plus side, my homemade lamp work. So what's happening is this all loads correctly. And I know these little teeth guys are doing their job too. But then it gets down in here and somewhere it messes up and just starts spitting it out the wrong way. It's like this part isn't getting to where it needs to be. So I don't know if it's something inside this cabinet that's not holding on. When I hold it on with my fingers, the little teeth down there are working. So I thought, oh, maybe those aren't working. They are. And then it needs to go down here and do other stuff and it's not doing any of that. It is going. Oh, it's too bright in here. You don't see that stuff there? Mm -hmm. Nah! The spool's getting all messed up in the back. Science!